guys good morning everyone <clears throat> good morning jia sanjeev a very good morning to all of you i welcome you all on the official youtube channel of olive board so just let me know if i'm if we are if i'm audible are we live now so yes the session is streaming we can continue okay <clears throat> if i talk about yesterday's homework uh, actually it is the homework of day before yesterday you know so yesterday we didn't have any session so if i talk about day before yesterday's homework so apurva sabri madhu ankita molina then rekha sanjeev kavita only these many homework i received okay so the homework of only these many people i received baki kisi ka homework mujhe receive nahi hua tha so if you want you can send me that in the uh, uh, that telegram group jo doubt group hai aap wahan pe send kar sakte hain or no yours also your homework also i didn't receive so those who want they can send me in the telegram group okay good morning everyone i hope you all enjoyed your festival now you all are back with the same spirit and energy okay <clears throat> today's quote is of course about women okay so uh, the, yesterday as you know it was women's day so first of all uh, i wish you all a very happy women's day okay so feminism is not about making women strong so when we people talk about feminism okay so feminism is not women women empowerment more means what we are already strong okay so women are already strong by birth they are strong they are very strong because they can survive in any uh, this circumstances they uh, can survive tough phase also everything they can survive okay so it is not about making women strong because they are already strong it is about changing the way the world perceives that is strength so how you people perceive the strength of a woman that is basically feminism should be about that that how you take the strength of the women okay so it is just about changing our own perception towards women rather than making them strong because they are already strong okay so i hope you have understood this now guys quickly those who are here for the first time it is my request to all of you that please uh, subscribe to our yt channel jo log yahan pe first time aaye hain ek baar channel ko sabhi log fatafat se uh, subscribe kar dijiye session ko like kar dijiye aur share kar dijiye theek hai shall we continue i hope sabko samajh mein aa rahi hogi baat now glimpse of today's session what are the things we are going to do today aaj hum log kya kya karne wale hain so as usual we will start with the revision session whatever we did on uh, tuesday so we are going to revise all those words then we have vocabs of today's session idioms and phrases we have phrasal verbs we have complete analysis of the article grammar learning tone objective and practice exercise okay so everything we are going to do today ye jo article hone wala hai na that is based on completely different journal jo humne aaj se pehle kabhi nahi kiya is tarah ke article and it is very very enriching in terms of vocabs ye aaj ke article nahi ye kal ke article hai okay basically so aaj ke article mein ek women se related tha iran pe so i didn't find many uh, fascinating or interesting words in that so basically i have chosen to take article of yesterday but you will get uh, awesome vocabs in that this article okay so uh, <coughs> the subject line is also completely different jisse related humne pehle kabhi nahi kiya hai so let's start quickly let me know if you all are ready for this revision session let me know guys are you guys ready for this revision session are you settled by now chaliye so because today we have two full slides for a uh, vocabs okay for revision session we have got two full slides for this revision so i want everyone to uh, participate in this with full zeal you can say okay chale start quickly match these terms with their synonyms or antonyms quick reply i want hmm 
आई थिंक बोथ अर्जु एंड जी आर करेक्ट मधुरिमा यस राइट जिया प्लीज चेक योर आंसर आपने फोर ट्वाइस लिखा है जिया प्लीज चेक योर आंसर यू रिटर्न फोर ट्वाइस ओके नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस अनइक्विवोकली एज यू नो अनइक्विवोकली मींस इन डिस्प्यूटेबल विदाउट एनी आर्गुमेंट विदाउट एनी डाउट सो दैट इज कॉल्ड अनइक्विवोकली ओके सो ए मींस व्हाट थर्ड इट विल बी मैच्ड विद थर्ड इन डिस्प्यूटेबल रेमिट बेसिकली वी से दैट इज एंबिट यू कैन से रेमिट एंबिट स्कोप एरिया दैट इज कॉल्ड रेमिट ओके सो बी विल बी मैच्ड विद फोर्थ flout we say defy defy violate some rules that is called a flout okay so c will be matched with 7 squarely as you know in a direct manner okay in a direct manner in a convincing manner so that is called squarely so you can simply say directly so it will be matched with first inimical as you know hostile disadvantage uh, hostile you can say unfriendly you can say okay so that is called the meaning of the word inimical enemy se bana hua word hai unfriendly hostile all these can be the synonyms so e will be matched with sixth expedient basically we say advantageous favorable something that is favorable that is advantageous that is called expedient okay <clears throat> so f will be matched with fifth and partake basically we say join in an activity so partake means to join an activity that is called partake so g will be matched with two so this is the correct pairing 3471652 3471652 yes everyone is correct arno nitya yes jia kavita navin everybody is correct sandhya molina everyone so i hope you got it yes unfriendly hostile all these can be the synonyms of the word inimical clear everyone got this word so uh, day before yesterday we saw many good idioms and phrases also so we are going to revise all those also okay ha dekh liya mr innocent theek hai dekh liya maine chale next guys quickly idioms and phrases and vocabs also we have so yes seize of is a very good phrasal verb seize of means to be aware of something so be aware of something be uh, that so that is called seize of okay so a will be matched with third be aware of something that is called seize of okay red herring basically we say misleading information misleading information that is called red herring so b will be matched with fifth exoneration as i told it is acquittal liberation of uh, acquittal liberation all these can be the synonyms of the word exoneration okay so c will be matched with sixth garner you know garner we can say gather muster muster also we call to gather only muster courage garner votes so they both carry the sense of gather only accumulate actually all these can be the synonyms of the word garner okay so d will be matched with seventh blow over we say lessen reduce something so that is called blow over okay so e will be matched with the first and then rule out means eliminate exclude that is called rule out so exclude something eliminate something that is called rule out so f will be matched with fourth and keep on one toe as you know cause one to be alert kisi ko bhi alert rakhna so that is called keep on one toe so 3561423567142 3567142. yes abate lessen reduce all these can be the synonyms you know multiple synonyms of this okay clear everyone shall we proceed to today's session clear chale let's start today session now uh, as i told you the article that we are going to discuss today is of yesterday theek hai but yes it is a very good article very good vocabs you will get usage of the word excellent so let us start this session so the first word of today's session is dogma so dogma as basically we say rule belief conviction that is called dogma dogma means very common belief rule conviction that is called dogma basically that is based on theory सो डॉगमेटिक आपने सुना होगा डॉग वर्ड सुना होगा तो इट इज ऑल रिलेटेड टू वेरी ऑर्थोडॉक्स फीलिंग ऑर्थोडॉक्स रूल बिलीव कन्विक्शन दैट इज कॉल्ड डॉगमा ओके सो इट इज बेसिकली नाउ 
डॉगमा इज वॉट इट इज नाउ ओके द नेक्स्ट वर्ड वी हैव इज स्ट्रे सो स्ट्रे बेसिकली वी से समन हु इज होमलेस ओके स्ट्रे एनिमल्स यू नो सो होमलेस एनिमल जिनका कोई ओनर नहीं होता है सो दैट इज वॉट स्ट्रे वर्ड मीन्स ओके सो स्ट्रे इट कैन बी एन एडजेक्टिव ऑल्सो इट कैन बी वर्क स्ट्रे कैन बी वर्ब ऑल्सो स्ट्रे वी ऑल्सो से ना कि विदाउट एनी कंट्रोल दैट इज ऑल्सो कॉल स्ट्रे ओके टूडेज आर्टिकल इज ऑल्सो बेसिकली ऑन डॉग ओनली ये जो डॉगमा वर्ड है ना इसको आप ऐसे भी याद कर सकते हैं बिकॉज आज के जो आर्टिकल है वो बेसिकली डॉग्स पर ही बेस्ड है सो दैट इज वाई आई टोल्ड यू की इट इज बेस्ड ऑन कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट थीम दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ओके नॉन नेक्स्ट वर्ड वी हैव इज लाइव स्टॉक सो लाइव सो लाइव स्टॉक बेसिकली वी से फार्म एनिमल्स रिगार्डेड एज एन असेट ओके सो जो भी फार्म एनिमल्स होते हैं बेसिकली दो आर ऑफ वैल्यू टू यू जैसे काउ है सो काउ गिवस मिल्क ओके सो ऑल दो एनिमल्स दैट आर रिगार्डेड एज एन असेट दैट इज कॉल्ड लाइव स्टॉक ओके सो फार्म एनिमल्स रिगार्डेड काउ गोट बफेलो ऑल दीज आर बेसिकली कॉल्ड लाइव स्टॉक पिक्स ओके यस सो इट इज ऑल्सो अनाउन एज यू नो देन नेक्स्ट वर्ड वी हैव इज डुबियस so dubious is an adjective that we say doubtful suspicious uncertain so all these words are this are all these are the synonyms of the word dubious so doubtful suspicious uncertain these are the synonyms okay the next word we have is stupor so stupor is also a very good word stupor basically we call to uh, a near unconscious state okay jo matlab jab unconscious wala jo state hota hai so that is called stupor unconsciousness okay so you can use the word numbness you can use the word coma insensibility so when you do not have when you are not sensible to towards something theek okay? hai insensibility unconsciousness unawareness all these words you can use stupor you can also say unawareness ki you are not aware of your surrounding okay so insensibility coma numbness uh, unconsciousness unawareness all these can be the synonyms of the word stupor it is what it can be a noun क्लियर एवरीवन मैम स्ट्रे डॉग्स एंड कैट्स होते हैं ना मतलब स्ट्रे मींस एनीथिंग दैट इज होमलेस दैट इज कॉल्ड स्ट्रे ओके एनी एनिमल दैट इज होमलेस स्ट्रे वर्ड आल्सो हैज मल्टीपल मीनिंग्स ओके सो बट स्ट्रे डॉग्स मींस द डॉग्स बेसिकली दैट डू नॉट हैव एनी ओनर सो दैट इज कॉल्ड स्ट्रे डॉग्स ओके सो स्टूपर वर्ड आई होप इट इज क्लियर टू यू द नेक्स्ट वर्ड वी हैव इज मैकेबल सो मैकेबल बेसिकली इट इज एन एडजेक्टिव मैकेबल मैकेबल बेसिकली वी से ग्रूसम Macabre murder we say, okay? So gruesome, grisly, grim, something that uh, instill, something that instills fear in you. मतलब कोई ऐसा murder जो आपके अंदर डर पैदा कर दे. So that is basically called macabre. So you can say gruesome, grisly, grim, okay? Intimidating also you can say horrifying, you can say chilling, you can say horrifying, chilling. genocide is different genocide basically we say mass murder genocide is noun that is called mass murder but macabre basically when we say when you murder someone very cruelly okay so very cruelly when you murder someone so that is called gruesome this aapko simple sa example main de do that ki matlab jo aapke andar ek dar pata karte ek aapne kisi ko shoot kar diya that person died so that is also murder but that is common one that is not that cruel murder but abhi aapne wo dekha tha na shraddha wala jo case tha so such type of murder can be called macabre okay that is called gruesome grisly grim chilling horrifying all these can be the synonyms ghastly very good so all these can be the synonym it is now okay clear everyone now next word we have is festo now fester is also egregious yes we can say horrifying notorious yes awful yes so fester basically we say a problem become worse or more intense through long term neglect that whenever you neglect something okay so by your negligence that problem is not solving okay that is not getting resolved it is becoming worse only okay so you can simply say aggravate aggravate a problem worsen a problem that is called fester clear everyone worsen or aggravate that is the synonym of the word fester so aggravate worsen all this can be the synonyms of the word fester so it is what it is a verb here clear yes yes i told you arju it is basically of yesterday 
okay x as a bit all these you can say so basically it is when a problem worsen when a problem worsen or it becomes more intense by your negligence so exact meaning is this so we can say that it can be uh, aggravate or worsen the situation but the exact meaning is that ki it becomes more intense when you neglect something jaisa agar aapko koi cheez nahi aati hai so if you neglect that thing to aisa nahi ki wo aapko aane lagegi of course wo problem aapke liye aur zyada complicated ho jayegi so that's only the meaning of the word fester okay the next word we have is vagary so dekhiye sare acche words aapko milenge all good words you will get here so vagary basically we say so it is now it is called idiosyncrasy caprice oddity peculiarity so you know changeable okay whimsical you all know so that peculiar behavior odd behavior idiosyncrasy caprice all these can be the synonyms of the word vagary do not share in any particular uh, that uh, telegram group okay you can share in the common one general one not in the particular subject groups okay so vagary basically we say idiosyncrasy caprice oddity peculiarity all these are the synonyms of the word vagary so it is what it is a noun it is a noun okay the next word we have is conundrum this we have seen so many times conundrum as you know we call to enigma puzzle so a difficult problem a complex problem that is called conundrum yes so a difficult problem enigma that is called conundrum a puzzle you can say theek okay? hai the next word is leash so leash can be a verb it can be a noun also theek okay? hai conundrum leash basically wo belt ko kehte hain jisse kisi bhi pet animals ko tie kiya jata hai theek hai aapne dekha hoga chain type ka hota hai jo kisi bhi dog ke ya cat ke neck mein hota hai those who are pet okay so leash basically we say fasten tie a fetter chain you can say किसी को चेन में लगाना सो इट कैन बी अ वर्ब आल्सो इट कैन बी अ नाउन आल्सो ओके सो फासन टाई अप फेटर चेन ऑल दिस कैन बी द सिनेम्स ऑफ द वर्ड लीज ऑल दिस कैन बी द सिनेम्स ऑफ द वर्ड लीज ओके देन नेक्स्ट वर्ड वी हैव इज एनकम्बर सो एनकम्बर बेसिकली वी से हिंडर और ऑब्स्ट्रक्ट समवन एनकम्बर मीन्स टू ऑब्स्ट्रक्ट समवन टू हिंडर समवन prevent okay so all these can be the synonyms of the word encumber encumber tether also you can say tether is also a very common word that we use yes arju we can use the word tether also for this fasten leash okay impede hinder obstruct all these can be the synonyms see i want you all to be fully attentive because we are getting so many good words in today's session theek hai so all these can be the synonyms of the word encumber okay the next word we have is euthanize i hope you all are aware of the word euthanasia because if you are aware of the word euthanasia then you will be uh, this word will also be clear to you euthanasia basically we call to mercy killing i hope you know mercy killing that is what painful death given sorry painless death given to someone painless death given to someone these are very common terms of ssc ssc mein bahut pucha jata hai euthanasia so simply we say mercy killing or euthanasia basically when a person is suffering from an uh, you can say a very severe disease okay incurable disease if a person is suffering from jiska koi ilaaj nahi hai and that person is in too much pain bahut zyada pain mein hai okay so there you get very uh, that painless death theek hai wo basically uske liye government ka order wagaira lena padta hai and then you get give a painless death to that person so that is called euthanasia theek hai so it is what mercy killing painless death given to someone administered to someone that is called euthanasia so euthanize is a verb encumber is also verb encumber means hinder obstruct impede and euthanize means put an animal or even a person kisi bhi animal ya person ko to put uh, so put them to death humanely humanely basically we say kindly काइंडली मतलब उनको एक बहुत ही स्लो पॉइजन आप कह सकते हैं या बहुत ही धीरे धीरे मतलब पेनलेस डेथ दी जाती है सो दैट इज बेसिकली कॉल्ड यूनाइ यूथनाइज ओके there is a new series on euthanasia it might be there okay clear everyone so put an animal or person to death humanely or painlessly euthanasia is noun whereas euthanize is what it is a verb to kisi ko bhi painless death dena administer painless death to someone that is called euthanize any confusion clear everyone chale next 
वॉट है आई होप यू ऑल आर दे आर नॉट स्लीपिंग वैसे भी कल वाला इफेक्ट अभी होगा कल सो कल बेसिकली वी से स्लॉटर डिस्ट्रॉय किल दैट इज कॉल्ड कल ओके सो कल बेसिकली वी यूज के जब बहुत ज्यादा एनिमल्स को एक साथ मार जैसे आप जब बर्ड फ्लू था वेन बर्ड फ्लू वॉज देयर सो सो मेनी दिस चिकन पोल्ट्री दे वर कल्ड मतलब उनको पूरी तरह से क्या कर दिया जा रहा था मार दिया जा रहा था डिस्ट्रॉय कर दिया जा रहा था पूरे पोल्ट्री को ओके सो दैट इज कॉल्ड कल सो इट इज अ वर्ब बेसिकली स्लॉटर वी कॉल टू किल स्लॉटर एक काउ देखिए जब भी आप किसी एनिमल को मारते हैं ठीक है जानवर को जब मारते हैं तो एनिमल के लिए वी डू नॉट यूज द वर्ड मर्डर वी डू नॉट से कौ वॉज मर्डर्ड कौ वॉज स्लॉटर्ड ओके गोट वॉज स्लॉटर्ड सो फॉर एनिमल किलिंग ऑफ एनिमल वी यूज द वर्ड स्लॉटर सो वेन यू डिस्ट्रॉय एनिमल ऑन अ लार्ज बेसिस सो दैट इज कॉल्ड कल स्लॉटर डिस्ट्रॉय किल दैट इज कॉल्ड कल क्लियर देन नेक्स्ट वर्ड वी हैव इज एल्टा सो एल्टा बेसिकली वी से अरेस्ट प्लेटफॉर्म मतलब इसको आप टेबल कह सकते हैं प्लेटफॉर्म कह सकते हैं रेस्ट प्लेटफॉर्म जहां पर आप रिलीजियस ऑफरिंग देते हैं जैसे जो भी सेक्रीफाइस वगैरह देनी होती है तो एक रेस्ट प्लेटफॉर्म होता है वेर यू मेक योर यू वेर यू प्रेजेंट योर रिलीजियस ऑफरिंग ओके मंदिर में एक टेबल टाइप का होता है ना जहां पे आप अपने चढ़ावा चढ़ाते हैं ओके सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एल्टार ये भी एस में बहुत बार पूछा गया है सो इट इज बेसिकली अ नाउ अ रेस्ट प्लेटफॉर्म सो फॉर द प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ रिलीजियस ऑफरिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड एल्टा ओके Yes, so that is uh, cult basically. Okay, church altar, very good. So in every uh, religion, I think that there is a raised platform. Okay, so that raised platform is basically called altar. Okay, in church we have in uh, temples also I think we have. Okay, and altar is changed. Do not get confused between altar and altar. So altar basically is a verb alteration. Se banana word hai that is change, modify. I hope there is no confusion at all. so it is alta and it is alter so alter basically we say change alter clear everyone then we have the word callous callous is an adjective so it is an adjective negative word it is so callous basically we say cruel heartless okay so that is called callous okay so cruel heartless that is the meaning of the word callous hmm a for education change clear everyone yes harsh cruel all these can be the synonyms of the word callous any confusion garrulous is different sandhya do not get confused between callous and garrulous garrulous like talkative one who talks a lot innocent is garrulous you can say talkative one who talks a lot yes chatter box you can say verbose loquacious so many words we have loquacious okay so garrulous talkative loquacious all these can be the synonym of the word garrulous okay talkative clear everyone ho gaya so so many words yes wordy you can say verbose you can say all these are the synonyms girls are garrulous you can say to is tarah se and what is the exact antonym of the word garrulous quickly <laughs> so, quickly what is the uh, antonym of this word garrulous quickly let me know hurry up guys reticent exactly so reticent taciturn all these are the antonyms of the word uh, uh, garrulous okay so reticent taciturn okay one who speaks less who speaks less reserved yes right so i hope you got so many good words in today's session okay so kafi acche words ho gaye hain i hope you are going to remember these words theek hai i hope you are going to remember these words okay chale start karte hain acha we have one more good word ek second ये मेरे को डिलीट करना होगा गैरुलस आई एम डिलीटिंग फ्रॉम हियर आई होप यू नो दिस वर्ड ठीक है यहां से मैं गैरुलस हटा रही हूं आई होप आपको दिख रहा होगा चलिए so anesthetizing basically you know anest um uh, we anesthetize a person na no? so anest 
एनेस्थेटाइजिंग बेसिकली वी से डिप्राइविंग ऑफ फीलिंग और अवेयरनेस कि जब भी आप किसी पर्सन को जब इंजेक्शन वगैरह देना होता है या जब भी ऑपरेट करना होता है तो उसको पहले एनेस्थेटाइज करते हैं ओके सो दैट इज बेसिकली कि आप उनको मतलब दे बिकम नंब राइट दे बिकम अन अवेयर ऑफ देयर सराउंडिंग सो दैट इज वॉक एनेस्थेटाइजिंग मीन्स दैट यू आर डिप्राइविंग सम वन ऑफ देयर फीलिंग और अवेयरनेस आप किसी को भी एनेस्थीसिया देना यस तो आप जब एनेस्थीसिया देते किसी पर्सन को तो आप क्या करते हैं कि उसको एक तरह से नम कर दे रहे हैं ओके सो कहीं ना कहीं उसको आप नम कर दे रहे हैं तो उसको आसपास क्या हो रहा है दैट पर्सन इज कंप्लीटली अन अवेयर सो दैट इज वॉट यू आर डिप्राइविंग अ पर्सन ऑफ सेंस यू आर डिप्राइविंग अ पर्सन ऑफ फीलिंग अवेयरनेस दैट इज कॉल्ड एनेस्थेटाइजिंग ओके सो यस मेकिंग सम वन नम मेक नम ओके सो दैट इज वॉट एनेस्थेटाइजिंग वर्ड मीन ओके सो आई होप इट इज क्लियर I hope it is clear to everyone. Okay, चलिए Now idioms and phrases also we have. So the first idiom is rule of thumb. अब देखिए thumb rule सबने physics में पढ़ा होगा rule of thumb in physics. Okay, but literally what does word what this uh, what does this word mean? ठीक है literal meaning क्या होती इस word की ठीक है English में जो normal meaning होती है. So what is the meaning of this word? Is an approximate method of doing something based on practical experience rather than theory. मतलब समथिंग दैट यू डू ऑन योर एक्सपीरियंस नॉट ऑन थियरी जो आप अपने एक्सपीरियंस पे करते हैं किसी पे थियरी पर बेस नहीं करते हैं सो दैट इज कॉल्ड रूल ऑफ थम रिमेम्बर इट इट्स ठीक है क्योंकि फिजिक्स में सबने पढ़ा होगा रूल ऑफ थम बट हियर इट मींस समथिंग दैट वी डू ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ अवर प्रैक्टिकल एक्सपीरियंस नॉट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ थियरी सो दैट इज कॉल्ड रूल ऑफ थम ओके मेक सम वन अनकॉन्शियस दैट इज कॉल्ड एनेस्थेटाइजिंग ओके कितनी बार बोलूं नहीं आज का एडिटोरियल नहीं है ये कल का है इसमें बहुत अच्छे वर्ड्स हैं सो आई चोज दिस एडिटोरियल ठीक है बिकॉज आज में आपको इतने अच्छे वर्ड्स नहीं मिलेंगे बट इट इज ऑफ येस्टरडे और काफी अच्छा वर्ड था सो एंड इट इज कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट थिंग सो आई थॉट ऑफ डिस्कसिंग थिंग पाइप ड्रीम वी सो अर्लियर ऑल्सो पाइप ड्रीम यू कैन से यूटोपियन आइडिया यूटोपियन आइडिया so that is called pipe dream an unattainable or fanciful hope okay that we call a remote wish कि जिसको जो कोरी कल्पना जिसे कहा जाता है समथिंग दैट कैन नॉट बी फुलफिल्ड योर होप योर विश दैट कैन नॉट बी फुलफिल्ड दैट इज कॉल्ड पाइप ड्रीम सो एन अनअटेनेबल और फैंसीफुल होप अ रिमोट विश जूटोपियन आइडिया सो ऑल दीज कैन बी द सिनेम्स ऑफ द वर्ड पाइप ड्रीम ये हमने पहले भी देखा था क्लियर एवरी वन imagination fanciful imagination imagination means that cannot be fulfilled that cannot be uh, like koi pura nahi kar sakta aapke wish so that is called pipe dream okay next we have phrasal verb also that is called put forth so put forth reverie you can say daydream yes very good word arju reverie also you can say reverie also we call to daydream that is din mein sapne dekhna jisko kehte hain na din mein sapne mat dekho so that is also called reverie daydream okay reverie basically we call to daydream so pipe dream day dream all these can be the synonyms of the word okay they all are synonyms okay so now put forth basically we say put forth a proposal basically we say to present or propose to kisi bhi cheez ko present karna propose karna so that is called put forth to present to propose something that is called put forth okay so ye jitne bhi wo caps the ye sirf aur sirf ek hi article ke the so we got many good terms today kafi acche words hame mil gaye okay Kids make pipe dream. Everybody make. Okay. So guys, as you know, we have multiple courses live on Hollywood platform. अब आपका होली वगैरह भी खत्म हो चुका है, ठीक है? So now you can get back to your studies because this is the time serious study करने का time आ चुका है. Because एक-एक दिन करके day pass हो जाएगा and I don't want your success to be a pipe dream. okay so i don't want your job your success in the banking sector to be a pipe dream so if you guys haven't yet purchased super elite theek hai agar aap abhi bhi join karna chahte hain to super elite is the best buy plan on hollywood platform so jahan par ek value matlab aap keh sakte hain value for money pack hai where you get all the mock test all the classes lps everything is included here except interview yahan pe interview physical books aapko nahi milenge but apart from that everything is included here so you can join banking super elite and this sale will end today ye holy sale chal raha tha 6 se 9 tak ka theek hai so you can join this batch you can use my code saba to get 2x validity maximum discount okay so remember to use my code saba 
यहाँ पर आपको टू एक्स वेलिडिटी मिल जाएगी ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ भी मिल जाएगा तो अगर आप सिक्स मंथ्स के लिए भी परचेस करते हैं सुपर इलीट सो ऑफ कोर्स इट इज गोइंग टू लास्ट फॉर ट्वेल्व मंथ्स तो सिक्स मंथ्स का मुझे लगता है मोर देन इनफ एट बिकॉज अगले मार्च तक की आपको वेलिडिटी मिल जाएगी एंड इट इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट बाई प्लान ऑन हॉलीवुड प्लेटफॉर्म ठीक है एंड We are also having subscriptions on SSC because I want कि जो लोग जिनको लगता है कि नहीं banking का I'm completely full uh, I'm fully prepared for banking they can start their preparation for SSC so we have flat forty five percent off on SSC subscriptions also so you can use my code Sabar to avail this discount also on SSC platform ठीक है so we are also coming up with warp acquisition officer batch ये कल से ये batch start हो रहा है to join this batch also you can use my code Sabar so we are having personalized banking mentorship program also dekhiye super elite of personalized banking mentorship program mein difference kya hai ki yahan par aapko 1:1 to 1 mentorship milegi live class and mock test milega interview preparation mock interviews physical books everything you will get here so you can definitely use my code sabha if anyone is interested in joining personalized banking mentorship program aur agar aapne already join kiya hai to kal aapka 7 baje main doubt session lungi english ka jo bhi aapko related queries and doubt hai strategy so everything i will be taking tomorrow so those who are already those who have already joined personalized banking mentorship program so tomorrow 7 pm sorry so tomorrow friday 7 pm they can join that uh, forum okay discussion forum so for purchasing anything on alibot platform you can use my code sabha join this telegram channel guys for updates on every session and for pdf uh, feb ka monthly work app pdf i have shared so you can uh, follow that theek hai for updates on every session join this telegram channel learn english with sabha theek hai ma'am sbi ka result kab aayega aa jayega i think kab aa jana chahiye holi wagera ho gaya to Uh, by next week, I'm expecting you will get the SPI result. Okay, चले guys, read it. ये पूरा first paragraph है, okay? So first paragraph was very short. आप इसे पढ़िए. Quick reading, everybody. See the usage of words. Now challenging dogma. So dogma, you know, conviction, belief. Okay, so that is called dogma. So basically, this article is on the threat from stray dogs. So stray dogs से जो threat होता है, stray dogs basically we call to street dogs. So उनसे related जो भी threats है, this article is basically on that. Okay. So the threat from stray dogs must be framed as public health issue. Now author is suge uh, suggesting that whatever threat uh, we have from the street dogs. Okay. So homeless dogs, you can say those who are not pet in anyone's house. Okay. So that must be that threat must be framed as a public health issue. कि उसको एक एक public health issue की तरह लेना चाहिए. ठीक है? The newspaper rule of thumb is that dog bites man stories are not newsworthy. Okay, the line itself is very very good. So the newspaper rule of thumb, rule of thumb means practice, uh, something based on practice, not on theory. So उनका मतलब common practice क्या है that dog bites man. अगर कोई ऐसी news है कि जहाँ पर कोई dog man को bite कर लेता है, so that is not that story is not newsworthy. मतलब उसको एक publish करने लायक story वो नहीं है. so that is very very you, they, they consider it very trivial matter and they do not consider it worth news matlab news worth usko nahi samajhte hain okay however uh, with with a nearly 1.5 crore stray dog population 2019 livestock census okay so as per 2019 livestock census livestock you can say domestic animal census theek hai to jo bhi inka census aaya tha we have nearly 1.5 crore stray dog population theek hai a dubious distinction dubious means doubtful distinction of being the world's dog bite and rabies capital india is considered the world's 
डॉग बाइट कैपिटल मतलब सबसे ज्यादा डॉग बाइट के केस सबसे ज्यादा रबीज के केस कहां पर होते हैं इंडिया में ही होते हैं एज पर दर्ल्ड ओके सो दे इज अ डाउटफुल डिस्टिंक्शन डुबियर डिस्टिंक्शन इंडिया स्ट्रे डॉग मेनस मेनस बेसिकली वी कॉल टू थ्रेट Has a steady presence in the media ecosystem. ठीक है तो अभी भी मतलब इंडिया हैज दिस डिस्टिंक्शन ऑफ बींग द वर्ल्ड डॉग बाइट एंड रबीज कैपिटल ओके सो इट हैज द हाइएस्ट नंबर ऑफ डॉग बाइट एंड रबीज ओके केसेस सो दिस डॉग स्ट्रे डॉग मेनिस इनका जो थर्ट है हैज अ स्टेडी प्रेजेंस इन मीडिया इको सिस्टम टू द पॉइंट ऑफ बींग एनस्थिटाइजिंग अब इसका जो प्रेजेंस था मतलब वो कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेजेंस था लेकिन अब धीरे धीरे इट इज बिकमिंग वॉट इट इज बिकमिंग अन अवेयर लाइक पीपल दे आर नॉट फोकसिंग ऑन ऑल दीज न्यूज स्पेशली मीडिया इफ यू टॉक अबाउट ओकेजनली दिस स्टूपर इज ब्रोकन बाय द मैकैबो दिस इज अ वेरी ऑसम लाइन अब यहां पर देखिए आई होप टिल यू गॉट अभी तक यहाँ पे इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ डॉग बाइट केसेस इन न्यूज की बात हो रही थी कि न्यूज पीपल मीडिया इट डज नॉट हाईलाइट सच न्यूज ठीक है वो इस तरह के न्यूज को हाईलाइट नहीं करती बिकॉज दे थिंक दैट दीज न्यूज आर नॉट वर्थ पब्लिशिंग ओके दे थिंक दीज न्यूज दे कंसिडर दीज न्यूज वेरी वेरी ट्रिबल ओके बट Uh, and uh, soon they will is all these thing they will become unaware of all these dog bites cases and all these thing so it is basically of media ecosystem occasionally occasionally means sometimes this stupor what do you mean by the word stupor stupor is noun here is broken by the macabre now listen macabre is what it is noun sorry it is an adjective macabre as i told it is an adjective that means gruesome grisly okay gruesome grisly okay that is called macabre Now the macabre means now it is presented. You know that when we add the before an adjective, so it starts functioning as a noun. जब भी हम किसी adjective के पहले the लगा देते हैं, तो वो किसकी तरह काम करने लगता है? Noun की तरह काम करने लगता है, ठीक है? So here also it is talking about the same. So this stupor is broken by the macabre means macabre here we call to some serious or gruesome killing. जब dog के through कोई बहुत ज़्यादा gruesome killing हो जाती है, then news personnel they came they come into action and then they highlight that in news. Okay, फिर वो उसको publish करते हैं, उसको highlight करते हैं. So did you get the meaning till here? ये जो अनअवेयरनेस है स्टूपर बेसिकली वी से अनअवेयरनेस सो दिस अनअवेयरनेस इज ब्रोकन बाय इट इज स्टार्टेड बाय वेन एवर वी गेट वेरी वेरी ग्रूसम इंसिडेंट ऑफ डॉग बाइट क्लियर एवरीवन सो दिस लाइन इज आल्सो वेरी ब्यूटीफुली रिटर्न लाइन ओके तो यहां तक आपको समझ में आ गया होगा नो व्हाट आर दोज ग्रूसम इंसिडेंट वेन दिस डॉग बाइट केसेस केम इन न्यूज ओके सो एन इन्फेंट इन अ राजस्थान हॉस्पिटल वॉज रिपोर्टेडली टेकन अवे बाय स्ट्रे डॉग्स ओहो कि एक राजस्थान में एक इन्फेंट था बेबी था ओके एंड मेनी स्ट्रे डॉग्स दे टूक दैट बेबी अवे Okay, while strays attacked the four-year-old with fatal results, which was captured by CCTV cameras in Telangana. So these are the cases. Ki matlab or bhi uh, matlab stray dogs se they attacked the four-year-old. ठीक है? With fatal results, जहाँ पे deadly results आए थे. And this uh, incident was also captured in CCTV cameras in Telangana. So when such gruesome act occurs, okay, when such gruesome things occur, so then only the uh, case of this dog bite it comes into news, okay. Both incidents constitute only a fraction of the many dog attacks. अब यहाँ पर ये जो दो incident की बात हो रही राजस्थान के hospital वाली और यहाँ पे जो four year के बच्चे को dogs ने attack कर दिया था stray dogs ने. So these incident constitute ऐसा नहीं कि बस यही incident है. They are just a fraction. They are just example of the many dog attacks. तो बहुत सारे dog attacks का ये एक छोटा सा example आपके सामने है. Despite the acknowledgement of the crisis by states. the center the judiciary municipalities and non governmental organizations the problem festers now despite the acknowledgement of the crisis means every state has acknowledged this crisis center has acknowledged this crisis judiciary municipality every one non governmental organizations they all have um, acknowledged this crisis but still the problem continues in fact it worsens fester here means what the problem worsens because nobody is taking action against it acknowledge sab log kare ki ha bahut bada threat hai bahut bada challenge hai bahut badi problem hai but no one is taking action so this problem worsens it aggravates wo dheere dheere badh hi raha hai theek hai next dogs have a unique relationship with man's evolutionary history from here we are having second paragraph okay 
so dogs have a unique relationship with man's evolutionary history one of companionship you know if we talk about the evolution evolutionary history of man so dog is our dogs are our old companion okay because aapko pata hai ki many 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 people they uh, keep dogs at pet okay so because of this companionship the companionship they provide to the humans so they form a uh, you can say um, integral part of our evolutionary history this poses a moral dilemma of being responsible for their welfare but also confronting the vagaries of their evolution from wolves and other territorial in instincts okay now this poses a mo moral dilemma now we feel that dogs are very very close to us they are very associated to us so this put us in moral dilemma dilemma here means confusion moral dilemma means here confusion of being responsible for their welfare ab hame pata hai ki wo bahut zyada dangerous cheeze hain theek hai but still we are aware we are responsible for their welfare so that there are so many welfare for pets you know theek hai organizations for the welfare of pets but also to ek taraf to hamare andar moral dilemma hai confusion hai ki we are responsible for the welfare of all these animals uh, especially dogs but also no on the other hand confronting the vagaries vagaries means oddity okay of their evolution from wolves and other territorial instinct now we also know that dogs are evolved matlab unka jo evolutionary history wo wolf se aata hai so wolf you know they are dangerous so dogs are also dangerous so because of these things only we are in a dilemma and we are unable to take any action against dog okay while by no means a conundrum unique to india much of the world has drawn the line by de recognizing the rights of stray animals देखिए दिस प्रॉब्लम दिस इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रॉब्लम ओनली फॉर इंडिया ये जो इस तरह की यूनिक सिचुएशन होती है ना कि वी आर इन अ डिलेमा दैट वेदर वी शुड किल डॉग्स और वी शुड नॉट किल डॉग्स सो ऑल दीज प्रॉब्लम्स ऑल दीज कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रॉब्लम्स आर लिमिटेड ओनली टू इंडिया बिकॉज व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट द वर्ल्ड सो मच ऑफ द वर्ल्ड मतलब मेनी पार्ट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड has drawn the line matlab unhone ek line separate kar diya they have demarcated by de recognizing the rights of stray animals unhone in stray animals ke kisi bhi right ko recognize nahi kiya hai so they have completely de recognized the rights of stray animals if leashed and registered leashed means chained okay agar unko chain karke rakha gaya hai fasten karke rakha gaya hai secured hai agar wo okay and if they are registered Human custodians are obliged to take care of them. मतलब अगर वो लीस्ट है चेंड है उनका कोई है केयर टेकर है तो अफकोर्स दो डॉग्स इफ दे आर रजिस्टर्ड सो ह्यूमन कस्टीडियंस आर अब्लाइज टू टेक केयर ऑफ देम कि फिर वहां पे जो ये बाकी नेशन की बात हो रही है ओके सो जो भी उनके ह्यूमन कस्टीडियंस होते हैं दे आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल एंड दे टेक केयर ऑफ दोज डॉग्स ओके इफ नॉट इफ दो डॉग्स आर नॉट चेंड अगर वो स्ट्रे डॉग्स हैं ठीक है जिनका कोई ओनर नहीं है ठीक है होमलेस इफ दे आर the state as a last resort is encumbered to euthanize them ke fir state unko kya kar deta hai puri tarah se euthanize kar deta hai matlab ek painless death de deta hai unko theek hai in the interest of public health now why do they give why do they administer painless death to uh, dogs just to uh, protect public in the uh, in the interest of public health they try to kill that dog okay the prevention of cruelty to animals okay that is pc act and animals birth control dogs rules uh, that is abc okay so abc and pca 2001 being updated ye dono hi act update hue hain theek hai while aimed at limiting the stray population ki in dono ka aim kya hai ki wo stray population ko limit karenge jo bhi stray dogs hai they will be controlling the population of stray dogs do nothing to improve the public safety but both these acts they do nothing to improve public safety because in acts mein public safety ki koi baat hi nahi hoti hai theek hai the proposed draft rules or the animal birth control rules 2022 only put forth procedural changes in sterilization and vaccination permit only incurably ill and mortally mortally wounded dogs to be euthanized which is what existing rules permit and make leaders of resident welfare associations responsible for feeding stray in pockets now what does it mean as per the uh, animal birth control rules 2022 ye jo updated rules aaya hai theek hai so this rule this amendment has only put forth it has only proposed procedural changes in sterilization and vaccination usme sirf aur sirf jo sterilization aur vaccination mein changes hote hain to sirf ek matlab procedure ka hi changes hai kuch usme naya act nahi kiya gaya hai add nahi kiya gaya hai okay 
and it only permits now this rule this abc 2022 draft proposal it permits only incurably ill matlab wo dog jo bahut zyada ill hai jiska koi uh, matlab that cannot be cured okay and mortally wounded ya bahut zyada jo fatally injured dogs hain only they can be euthanized unhi ko aap sirf painless death de sakte hain which is what existing rules permit so as per existing rule in india we cannot euthanize any stray dogs we can euthanize only those stray dogs that are mortally wounded fatally injured or those who are suffering from incurably uh, incurable disease okay so only those dogs can be euthanized okay and this rules may and this amendment okay this draft makes leaders of resident welfare associations responsible for feeding stray dog dogs in their pocket theek hai to matlab jo bhi leaders hain resident welfare associations ke unko feed karna hoga unke area mein jo bhi stray dogs hain theek hai the pca and abc rules acknowledge that unchecked strays must be restrained theek hai to as per both the rules pca and abc अनचेक्ड स्ट्रेस मतलब जिनके ऊपर कोई रेस्ट्रिक्शन मतलब जो भी स्ट्रे डॉग्स हैं जिनका कोई कंट्रोल नहीं है जिनको चेक नहीं किया गया है ओके दे मस्ट बी रेस्ट्रेंड मतलब उनको कंट्रोल करना होगा ठीक है दिस इज देयर इन द रूल हाउ एवर दे डू नॉट फैक्टर इन द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम मतलब लेकिन ये सारे जो रूल्स है पीसी एंड एबीसी दे डू नॉट इंक्लूड फैक्टर इन मींस व्हाट इंक्लूड इट इज आल्सो अ गुड फ्रेजल वर्ब फैक्टर इन यू नो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड दिस अर्लियर आल्सो include in calculation okay so that is what theek hai so that there is nearly one stray for every 100 indians matlab har 100 indians pe ek stray dog hai so uh, these rules they do not discuss the they do not include the magnitude of the problem okay that india lacks the infrastructure and mechanism to ensure that the most vulnerable the poor and their children are able to access treatment see in india who are more affected by these stray dogs so the poor people the homeless people those who are wandering street uh, that uh, residents okay so they are their children are most vulnerable because they are Uh, uh, attacked by dogs okay and in india we do not have any structure infrastructure and any mechanism to ensure that the most vulnerable that is poor and their children are able to access treatment unko rabies ka treatment bhi nahi milta and that expecting dot uh, dogs numbers to reduce on their own with sterilization and vaccination is a pipe dream मतलब हमारे पास कोई ऐसा इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ही नहीं है अब अगर हम एक ये एक्सपेक्ट करें कि डॉग के नंबर अपने आप ही कम हो जाएंगे बिकॉज ऑफ स्टेलाइजेशन एंड वैक्सीनेशन प्रोग्राम सो दैट इज कंप्लीटली अ फॉर लॉन होप पाइप ड्रीम मीन फॉर लॉन होप की जिसको आप सिर्फ इमेजिन कर सकते हैं दैट के नॉट बी अ रियालिटी ओके India has committed to eliminate rabies by 2030. हमारा ये डेडिकेशन है एक एम है दिस इज अवर गोल दैट बाई ट्वेंटी थर्टी वी विल बी एलिमिनेटिंग कंप्लीट रेबीज ओके बट विदाउट फर्स्ट फ्रेमिंग द थ्रेट फ्रॉम स्ट्रे ड्रॉक्स एज अ पब्लिक हेल्थ क्राइसिस इंडिया पोअरेस्ट विल कंटिन्यू टू सी देयर राइट टू सेफ पब्लिक स्पेसिस कर्ल्ड एट द अल्टार ऑफ कैलस एक्टिविज्म now we have this aim of becoming rabies free nation by 2030 but without having any proper guidelines the threat from stray dogs as a public health crisis theek hai it will be there this threat uh, of uh, stray dogs as a public health crisis will be there and india's poorest will continue to see the right to safe public spaces ab jo poor countries hain unke liye unka kya hota public spaces hi unke right hote hain okay so they will be seeing their pub safe public spaces destroyed cult means destroyed एट द एल्टर ऑफ कैलस एक्टिविज्म ये जो एक्टिविज्म हम चलते कि नहीं वी हैव टू सेव एनिमल्स एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स इफ वी आर सेविंग दीज स्ट्रे एनिमल्स इफ वी आर प्रोटेक्टिंग दीज स्ट्रे एनिमल्स सो इट मीन्स वी आर रिस्किंग वी आर इंडेंजरिंग द लाइफ ऑफ दीज पुअर पीपल ओके सो कैलस यू नो क्रूअल हार्श एक्टिविज्म क्लियर एवरी वन आई होप दिस आर्टिकल इज क्लियर in pockets basically we call to that society we have na uh, arju area uh, basically it refers to now quickly tell me what is wrong here find the error in this sentence
good language is good in today's article <laughs> in pocket you can also say that at your own expense that you have to feed them at your own expense theek hai aapko apne pockets unko feed karna hai okay so that also can say you can say find the error in this no error if b have drawn everybody quickly find the error see much of the world actually this world is taken as a single entity it is taken as uncountable noun so when it has been taken as an uncountable noun so much is correct here and with much we have used singular verb it is absolutely correct अगर यहाँ पे मोस्ट ऑफ द नेशन होता है बिकॉज वर्ल्ड तो एक ही है ना वी हैव सो मेनी नेशन इन द वर्ल्ड बट वर्ल्ड इज सिंगल सो वी आर टेकिंग इट एज अंगल एंटिटी एंड मच हियर इज यूज दैट इज एब्सोल्यूटली करेक्ट द वर्ल्ड हियर इज सिंगुलर दैट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट ओके सो दीज लीस्ट लीस्ट एंड रजिस्टर्ड आर वर्ब्स मैम हैव टू चेक द सेंटेंस जनरली आई विल बी एबल टू टेल यू अच्छा इफ लीस्ट एंड रजिस्टर्ड यस दीज आर वर्ब्स यस so while by no means a conundrum uh, in unique to india much of the world has drawn the line by de recognizing the rights of animals if leased and registered okay human custodians are obliged to take care of them theek hai agar wo leased hai chained hai registered hai if those dogs are registered okay so human custodians are obliged to take care of them to fir jo bhi unke custodians hai unke responsibility ho jati hai ki they have to take care of those dogs if not if they are not leased if they are not registered okay so the state as a last resort fir unke paas kya option hota hai last resort means last option resort here means option is encumbered to euthanize them they are forced to euthanize them in the interest of public health okay so everything is correct there is no error in this sentence this sentence is absolutely correct clear everyone yes so has drawn everything is correct there is no error in this sentence it is completely grammatically correct okay any doubt any confusion quickly ask me काफी अच्छे आर्टिकल थे डिफरेंट थी सो वी शुड ऑलवेज डू सच आर्टिकल्स बेस्ड ऑन डिफरेंट जॉनर बिकॉज तब आपको अलग अलग वर्ड्स पता चलेंगे ओके सो ऑलवेज यू शुड डू आर्टिकल्स ऑफ डिफरेंट जॉनर बिकॉज वही पॉलिटिक्स पॉलिटिक्स करके कोई फायदा नहीं है uh, अगर देखिए अगर हमारे पास कोई ऑप्शन नहीं है तो ऑफकोर्स वी विल हैव टू डिस्कस दैट आर्टिकल ओनली बट इफ वी हैव ऑप्शन तो ऑफकोर्स वी शुड डू डिफरेंट ओके वॉट इज द टोन ऑफ टूडेज पैसेज Conditional sentences we use are to when they are simultaneous actions. So here, since they are not simultaneous actions, we cannot use. And one more thing, I will tell you. Uh, I am coming to that part. Okay, wait. Basically, it is of concern and it is analytical. Concern and analytical. Suggestion be a little bit suggestion. Analytical and concern basically. So if we talk about the tone, so it is basically analytical and it is concern. Okay, yes. see while by no means a conundrum unique to india much of the world has drawn the line by de recognizing the rights of the stray animals if leased now here they are verb but they are v3 forms of the verb okay they are v3 forms of the verb if they are leased and registered okay so agar yahan pe aap subject use karte ho to yahan pe aap koi na koi auxiliary verb use karte hain no purana ha matlab that only so if they are leased and registered human custodians are obliged like here are obliged so r plus v3 so the same thing you can consider here also so did you get the point arju if not the state as a last resort is encumbered so everywhere it is in passive voice so this is also passive voice it is only v3 okay so it is just v3 if they are leased and registered you can say so it is v3 form okay so you cannot take them as v2 form and you cannot determine the tense of the uh, tense because of them theek hai chaliye thank you guys these are the three phrasal verbs you have to use these three phrase are ye to purane wale wait wait are i didn't change this wait aaj ka aapko phrasal verbs and idiom use karna hai that is already two slides we have theek hai phrasal verbs and idioms you have to use kya kya idiom tha pipe dream we had pipe dream yes 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 pipe dream then we had rule of thumb 
then we had put forth then we had factor in so these four you have to use in a sentence of your own ye char aapko use karna hai pipe dream rule of thumb put forth factor in clear everyone yes put forth factor in rule of thumb pipe dream so these four these two are idioms these two are phrasal verbs so that we saw so please use these phrases these idioms in a sentence of your own okay so chaliye thank you guys so use this code sabha because the sale will end today to uh, those who want to uh, join you can join all about platform today itself okay like this session guys subscribe to our yt channel share this session with others okay thank you for watching we will meet at 9 am today we are going to discuss whatever remaining rules we had of infinitive <coughs> sorry infinitive se related jo bhi remaining rules the and participle so uh, we are going to discuss both these things or today we are going to complete verb advance so do join 9 am session today okay so thank you guys i'm ending this session take care bye bye <coughs> everybody should join okay so i'm